Pours round two at Long Beach Shoreline Village with the docks in the background. Heavy commerce comes through this location. Also heavy excitement once the track goes up. All of the businesses are locked in and waiting for the tourists to come. And your prize if you finish first. Often known as the Mini Monaco on the West Coast. Lots of people flock here for the excitement. The infamous Fountain Corner claims a lot of cars. The 11 turn circuit to provide lots of excitement and every driver strives for this in the end the checkered flag and who could forget the great girls of Long Beach as we get ready for, for the Long Beach California the Stratford PTM series round two at Long Beach Carlos Villa out to the lead. He gets the jump. Coming into turn one, heavy braking. Oh, Sandy Robinson looks like he had to avoid contact and put himself out into the tire barrier. Let's see if he'll be able to recover from that. As Carlos leads John Nelson in turn two. Carlos looking pretty smooth so far. Have to see what John has up his sleeve to get past the newcomer to pours. Carlos seems to be maintaining that gap. And we'll look and see if we can get a rundown shortly of the top five. Carlos hitting his marks. John closes right up on him under heavy braking as they come down the front stretch on Shoreline Drive to complete lap one. Oh, that looks like Susan Boyle and Red Weasel Racing having some problems. She's going to have to duck into the pits. Looks like she lost the front clip, but also looked like that might have been Dale Smith in the background of the Momo team. Oh, uh, Rob Boy with Sheldon. Sheldon having a little trouble coming through the fountain corner. That's going to claim a lot of people today. It could. That allows Pat Collins to get by him into the fourth spot. That spot so soon he's hot on Led Sled's tail. Out versus Audi. Sheldon's looking pretty racy today. And we go on board with Sheldon as he tracks down Pat Collins. Coming down into turn one. Heavy braking, downshifting. Hard left hander to the right hander coming into the mountain corner. Get this right, hard on the gas, accelerate out. You can gain some territory on the driver in front of you. That curve can offset your car and put you on two wheels easily. Should have looked pretty good. Second place, John Nelson trying to find his way around Carlos. Oh, that looks like that was Dale Smith over on the side with some damage on the front end of his car. John's being relentless on Carlos. Let's see what he can do. Coming down on the front straight, sure my God. Cars hey, with fuel, 
Fighting that a little bit over the bumps. Corner. Left, right, right, left. Yeah, Carlos sees a little bit of that curve on the right hand there. Missing the strip coming out of it. We go back to your fourth place battle between Bad Collins and Sheldon. And we're still pretty close. Oh, and Pat loses the command of Corey playing out of the gas a little too quickly, and Sheldon will move into fourth. John's looking for a way by Carlos. He's got the draft. He dives inside. Oh, this isn't going to end up well. Oh, they collide. And John, being a sportsman, knows he made a bad move on that one. Let's Carlos go back by in the first place. This will be settled later. Turn one again. Carlos maintains his gap. He looks pretty good through this section of traffic. Window. John's closing up on him again. Oh, Carlos is getting a little slick coming out of that corner. Probably out of gas a little too soon. That looks like another opportunity for John. He looks on the outside. He's going to try to cross him with a little run. Over and under, over and under. And John is still right there. Oh, Carlos makes a run going to the corner, and he has to back off, and then gives John the opportunity to get by. Let's see if Carlos has anything to counterattack. On board with set Carlos to correct for the third at this point. The four guys in the far better than the two. He's trying to pin down Carlos at this point after he goes over the lead, and John got by him. Part of the break is the line from straight shoreline village. Therefore, just let's see if I can run him off the corner as quickly as the BMW and the Mercedes do. Oh, and Carlos has another problem right in the turn one. He must be feeling the pressure. Oh, stop curve. Hard acceleration coming out of the turn three. He's still there. This is not a place to be scared of concrete. James Bowder is in fifth, Bob Robinson in sixth plate, and Sandy has recovered from this horrific start. And they have to be thinking about trying to catch up with Sheldon, who's currently running in fourth. But this battle has been going on since the start of the race. Oh, Bob gets on the gas a little too quick coming off the corner. That's going to give Sandy an opportunity. Will he be able to capitalize on it? He's pulling the draft. Pulls alongside. He's right there. He's got the position. Makes better of it. Bob nice and smooth through the found corner. Oh, 
Bob gets a little loose coming out of the corner. Slight tap on the wall. Shouldn't have done much damage to the car. Sheldon, James, Bob, Sandy. This is the current intense battle on track, and Bob once again a little too much on the gas coming out of the corner. What if he's using traction control and it's failed on him in this one? Sandy's got the run on him and he's got the position. Bob ducks in behind him with the draft, see what he can do going into turn one under Brayton. He looks inside, thinks twice about it, lets Sandy by. On board with Sandy Robinson as he tracks down the hidden little James Bowden. Robinson in his SPN Mercedes. He tries to get a run out of Tobin on the outside. Not going to work. Hard on the brakes. Regroups and will try again. And Sheldon's got to be on a career run within the series so far. Holding down fourth. Consistently, James is still trying to help him get past him for that spot. And this has allowed Bob to catch back up to the group. You can't count him out just yet. Bob gives Sandy a slight tap going into the last quarter, turn 11, coming up to the front stretch. No harm, no foul. And that might have been a wake-up call for Sandy. Try to stretch out some distance between them and close in on the guys he's trying to pass because he is right there going to turn one, nice and smooth. Coming through the complex into the bottom corner. They're all right together. Uh, Bob once again looks part of the gas coming out of the corner. He recovers. Lost some ground. He's still there. Inside with the wheel. He's on side of Sheldon. He can't quite make the pass. I'm sure he's still under pressure from Sandy. He knows he's got to get past Sheldon. Once again. Oh, he's got to go to Sheldon. Bob on the ship. Oh, that opens the window for Sandy. Oh, on the inside, outside, he gets them both. Sandy Robinson up in the fourth place. James trying to figure out a way to stack the show right now in the spot.
going to be able to, oh, Bob tries to dive Bob James coming on the inside of the corner. Tries to close the gap on James. The time is winding down. Sheldon looks like he's probably falling out of the picture. He's probably, his tires are probably shot. And we go back on board with your leader, John Nelson, after the fantastic pass on Carlos Villa. We've got him on the start. John looks to have run a flawless race and your second place driver. The new man in pours, making a stamp on the series. Carlos Wheeler with another podium spot. Second place. And the surprise of the day, the third place spot going to the Ford Camp. The guys are doing some work on that car. It's getting better and better. Running the EcoBoost color set, Collins in third. And a, amazingly able to hold on to the fourth spot after losing the front end of the car. No doubt the weasel's hunting him down. It's going to be the SPN driver, Sandy Robinson. And the, and the head man himself, James Bowder. Number 92, Red Diesel Racing, BMW brings it home in fifth. <laughs> 